In this video, I want to have a look at lists and tables with probability. So we've been looking at calculating probabilities in our earlier lessons, but probability can become a little bit more complicated when an experiment or an event has more than one step to it, or more than one stage, more than one thing happening. So examples of two-step experiments could be rolling two dice together, could be flipping a coin and rolling a dice, it could be we've got a raffle and we're drawing two prizes out, or it could be something like choosing two cards from a deck of cards. So when we're doing that, there's more possibilities of what could happen because we're doing two steps to them. So we need to be able to organize all the possible outcomes. So there's three main ways that we can do that. That we can write them in a list, we can write them in a table, or we can write them in a tree diagram. So in this video, we're just going to look at lists and tables, and in our next lesson, we'll look at tree diagrams a bit more closely. So our first example says a family has three children. We're asked to list all the possible orders of boys and girls for the children in the family. So if they have three ch children, this isn't just a two-step experiment, it's a three-step experiment. So we could have, let's say we start with boy, boy, boy. So we've got all three of them coming out to be boys. But what if we've got a girl in there? So we might have boy, boy, girl. So that's first child's a boy, second child's a boy, third child is a girl. What if it's still two boys and a girl, but the girl's the second or the first child instead? So we'd have boy, girl, boy, or we could have girl, boy, boy. So this is our option when all of them are boys. These three are our options when we have one girl and two boys. Let's have a look if we have two girls and one boy instead. So we'd have girl, girl, boy. We could have girl, boy, girl. Or we could have boy, girl, girl. So we've got our three options when there's one, one girl. So no girls, one girl, two girls. And then of course we're gonna have the option where you can have three girls as well. So all up, there's going to be eight possible outcomes in our sample space, eight different ways that these things could happen. So then we can look at probabilities. So what is the probability that the family will have three children of the same gender? So that could either be boy, 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 or girl, girl, girl. So there's two ways that that could happen out of a total of eight. And then we'd simplify our fraction down to one in four. Right, exactly one girl. Now exactly one girl, that could happen in three different ways. So we could have um, the last child a girl, the middle child a girl, or the first child a girl. So that's happening three times out of a total of eight different ways it could happen. And the last one, at least one girl. So at least one girl could mean one girl, two girls, or three girls. So the only way that, that could not happen, that that doesn't happen, is if all three of our um, children are boys. So because there's only one option that doesn't include that, it would be seven out of eight, because all other seven options include at least one girl. Our right, second example, says a coin is tossed and a die is rolled at the same time. It says use a table to identify the sample space. So across the top of our table, I'm going to put all the options for our die. So we could get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. And down the side, I'm gonna put heads and tails. Fill in our table, extend our lines. All right, so now we can go through and list all the possible outcomes. So we could get a one and a head, or a one and a tail. Two and a head, two and a tail, all the way through. So there are 12 possible different outcomes that we could have when we roll the die and toss a coin at the same time. So it says calculate the probability of a tail and a one. So a tail and a one only occurs once out of all 12 of them. So that would be one over 12. 
a tail and an even number. So that could be a tail and a two, a tail and a four, or a tail and a six. So that would be three over 12, which simplifies down to one in four. And our last one, a tail, sorry, a head or a number greater than four. So a head could be any of these ones, or a number greater than four means fives and sixes. So that's this one, these four here. So a head or a number greater than four means that all of this row are included and these two are included as well. So it doesn't have to satisfy both of those things. If it said a head and a number greater than four, it would only be these two outcomes here. But because it's or, it means it has to satisfy at least one of those things. So there will be these six and these two, so a total of eight outcomes out of 12, which will simplify down to two over three. So let's have a look at lists and tables in probability.